The figure below shows a tetrahedron ABCV. AB is equals to BC is equals to CA is equals to 12 centimeters and VA is equals to VB is equals to VC is equals to 15 centimeters. That means that all the slant heights are equal in this particular diagram. All the slants are equal. It's is a right tetrahedron. First question, calculate to one decimal place the height of the tetrahedron, the height. So how do you get the height? You get the height by drawing a perpendicular from the vertex V to the midpoint, to the midpoint of that uh, base. And the base also, this one is, uh, is the same, A, B is equals to, so all these are 12. Eh? So the base again, uh, it is an equilateral triangle so we can name this point here the midpoint to be o so in order to get um, the height we shall join uh, c to c to the midpoint of that like that we join it up to that point and we shall form a right angle triangle there so look at that triangle voc voc so triangle VOC is what you're going to use. So we only know VC. And how do we get a CO? CO, um, if we use um, the triangle ABC, we use triangle ABC, we can start by extending. We can extend this line. We can extend this line as C, CO until that point there uh, but now the problem is i want you to be very keen here uh, i can name this point as n so this point here is n so this point uh, from c to o is not equal from o to n so when we get c n and then we divide that one by two we'll be wrong when you do that because o O is not the midpoint of C N. So we need to use um, some other concept here to get C O. And you're going to use uh, this concept of the sine rule. Uh, remember the sine rule. A divided by sine A is equals to B is equals to uh, divided by sine B is equals to C over sine C is equals to 2R. So using these I can, you can get the radius 2r where r is the radius i can decide to use um one of these sides and since i know that this one is an equilateral triangle and all these angles are 60 all these angles here are 60 is equilateral say so all the sides are 12 centimeters so i can use uh, one side being 12 and um, then sine of one of the angles that is a uh, 60 this one should give me two radius. The radius in this case will be CO. CO will be the radius. So therefore, if you work out these uh, using a calculator and you make uh, R the subject, R will be 12 divided by 2 sine 60. So the radius will give the radius will give you 4 root 3. 4 root 3. So that is CO. CO. 4 root 3. 4 root 3. Like that. So now having that, we can get the perpendicular height. So we just have the triangle now here. I can extract it. I can extract it here so that we can have. So this is uh, O. This one is V and this one is C. So we have OC. This is a 4 root 3. And then we have these as 15. So we can get the height. So the height therefore. The height will be given by. By the Gras theorem. The square root of 15 squared minus 4 root 3 squared. Like that. So this will give the height to be given by, this will be the square root of 225 
15 squared then 4 root 3 squared will give 48 and this will give uh, height to be 13.3 centimeters 13.3 centimeters so that is the height of the tetrahedron let's go to part two the angle between vb and the base abc vb vb so let us identify vb so you can see vb vb is um vb is here and then the base abcd so that will be the angle between vb we need to get the projection of vb on the base so the projection of vb projection of vb will be bo so we need to connect uh, this one we need to connect b to o so when you're getting that is the angle between a line and a plane the line is vb and the plane is abc so to get that we normally get the angle between that line that is vb and its projection on that plane and the projection is here so that is the that is the angle that we need to get so if we if I look at that um, particular diagram you notice that uh, you can extract me extract that triangle and extract it here so the height is there and then okay to look at it so we have b b is there then o is there and then uh, v is there so this is the perpendicular height that we just got that is 13.3 13.3 and then vb vb let's look at vb vb is 12 the slant heights are 12 so this will be 12 so we can get this required angle you can check from the diagram there can check it there so this one you get the angle by you can use tangent so tangent tangent of theta is equals to opposite uh well this one is going to uh, yeah tangent is tangent going to work no i think sine is going to work better than this so sine is going to work because we have the opposite side so sine of theta would give a uh, 13.3 divided by the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is 15 i'm sorry this one should be 15 to know a root 12 this one should be 15 it should be 15 it should be 15 just look at uh, the diagram vb vb is uh, slant height of all these is 15 so uh, sine of theta is equals to 13.3 divided by 15 and this one should give uh theta will give sine inverse of uh, 13.3 divided by 15 and theta will give 62.46 62.46 degrees then the other one is the angle between vab part c angle between vab and the base vab those, that is the angle between two planes vab and abcd abc so VAB, VAB, so we have VAB and uh, the base, the base that is ABC. So when you're getting the angle between uh, two planes, uh, you consider this plane first, VAB, and then you draw a perpendicular from V to to that uh, other plane like that this one will meet uh, at 90 degrees here it will meet these that to meet that plane at 90 degrees and then for the other plane abc also draw a perpendicular from this point from this point c to the mid of this uh, make this to that point so it will also meet this one at 90 degrees like this so look at what i've done 
draw perpendicular from V to this point, the mid of uh, AB, to meet this line, AB at 90 degrees, then draw the other perpendicular from the other plane, this point C, to the mid of this line. So where the two, where the two perpendiculars are meeting, this is the required angle. This is the required angle. So we need to get this angle here. So this is the required angle. So how do you get that angle? Uh, look, we should look at what we are given. So, and look at this triangle, V, N, O. We consider that. I only have the height, so I will extract it here. So let me extract that. Um, so it looks like this. But you can see what we are given. So we have... Um, so we have... O N V. O N V. So this is O N and this is V. Like that. So look at O. O is here. N is here and V is here. So we only have V O. We have V O. V O is uh, thirteen point three but we don't have uh, NO. The easier one to get is NO. The easier one to get is NO. So we need to get this distance here. How do you get that distance? Now, because you already have this distance CO, we can use this triangle, C and B. We can use Pythagoras theorem to get that. So CN, the whole of CN, will be given by, when I talk of CN, this is the whole of these, eh? using this uh, triangle here, and that will be 12 squared minus, 12 squared minus 6 squared, and uh, this will give, um, 12 squared, we get it, 12 squared minus 6 squared, then you get the square root of that, so 12 squared, minus 6 squared, you get 6 root 3. So this one will give us 6 root 3. 6 root 3. I want you to be very keen here. So CN is 6 root 3. But we already have CO as 4 root 3. So to get ON, 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 we're going to get 6 root 3 minus 4 root 3. And this will give 2 root 3. Why are we subtracting? Because we already have CO as 4 root 3. That was the radius. We got the radius. And then you have already obtained CN as 6 root 3. So this part that is remaining here, ON, will be given by uh, CN minus CO. That is 6 root 3 minus 4 root 3. And that will give us 2 root 3. So now having that, um, having this one as uh, 2 root 3, 2 root 3, that is uh, ON or NO. Now we can get the required angle. Remember the required angle is this angle here. This is the required angle between the two planes. And uh, for this one, you can use tangent. So tangent of theta is equals to opposite side over the adjacent side. So theta will be given by the tan inverse of 13.3 divided by 2 root 3. And this one gives, uh, when you work it out, this will give 75.4 degrees. So that is how we get the angle between two planes. The last question, the angle between VAB and VBC. VAB and VBC. So let us identify that. VAB, so VAB and VBC. We can look at the, those two planes. So I have to clear some things here so that you can see everything properly. So the angle between VAB and VBC is this particular angle here. Very easy to identify. It is this angle that is here. So this angle, this angle, 
that angle is the one that is the angle between those two planes, VAB and VBC. And that angle is um, 60 degrees because it is one of the angles of that triangle at the base that is uh, equilateral, which is uh, 60 degrees. But for you to calculate, you can still calculate that because you need to get three marks and uh, show all the methods that you used. We can simply extract that uh, triangle. You can use that. Uh, can you, you can draw it. You can draw it like this because the angle that we need. Uh, you can just draw it like that. And uh, this is the angle that we need. That is the angle that we need. So these are B, A, C. So the B, A, C. So look at the base. I've extracted them. B, A, C. So the angle I need is this. And remember these are, this is 12. So this is 12. This is 12. So I can draw perpendicular by sector there. And this will be 6. This will be 6. So I need this angle. Once I get that angle, I just multiply it by 2. So the whole of angle... A, B, C, we are going to get it by, I can use um, sine, so sine to be twice, because uh, you get one angle and then you multiply by two, you can see the whole of that angle, two sine of theta will be given by, just multiply, is uh, sine of theta, which will be opposite, divided by, the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse like that. And this will give uh, sine of theta is equals to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 um, theta will therefore give you a sine inverse of 0. Point, uh, this, this will give uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. And you have to multiply by 2. So 2 times 30 degrees, that will give 60. We already knew that it is 60 because it is an equilateral triangle. But for, for you to handle these marks, three marks, you, you don't just need to write uh, the answer there. You just need to show the, the workings. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.